Hello, good morning everyone. I am Oracle Unicorn and welcome to Shaman Messages. Please keep in mind these readings are general. Take, take what resonates, leave the rest, put some things in your back pocket. You never know, you might need it for later. Um, and be sure to check your rising moon and Venus signs as my videos do cross connect with each other. So there may be some messages in here and also some messages in other videos that will help you to piece together your puzzle um, and or situation that you may be inquiring. Um, and if you would like to have a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. And be sure to please like, subscribe and share on social media as liking helps to be able to really uh, push the video into the into feeds more for resulting in more subscribers and people being able to see the um, messages for those that uh, is really needs help when it comes to these uh, their scenarios and um, once I get a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to go live on my phone. I can't wait for that. And or I will be able to go on the computer and go live now. Whichever works itself out to come first, that is what we will bring in. All right, so thank you for my huge spew. I appreciate y'all's patience. And this is a weekly reading for Libra. And please keep in mind that um, These are really not date specific. Whenever you see this reading, that is when it's meant for you to see it. Um, connecting things possibly when it comes to the past and or now and or the future, bringing possibly all of it together as one. I have been um, putting all the videos in its own zodiac so that you can watch the uh, progression of energies, the changement, and what it is that is staying the same so that you can get a broader picture of to what may be going on in your scenario when it comes to love, work, um, finances, and home. And even if sometimes my readings seem to be dealing with matters of love, it can also resonate when it comes to home or your finances as well. I do the best to be able to um, read both as I see it fits. You are also opening up a lot when it comes to your heart chakra as my phone blinked green. So. All right, Libras. Yeah, wow, got a dove. So, there are some hidden aspects when it comes to love and really coming together with this person. Or being able to, if you're already with your person, being able, coming into uh, a downloads and realizations between the both of you and beautiful collaboration and communication when it comes to healing um, y'all's heart and mind of certain things, being able to really collaborate more with matters of the heart. Oh, breaking old habits that both of you had and have been able to collaborate and achieving the impossible and being the um, basically each other's wish. That is what is hidden behind the scenes within this issue that may be arising and going, possibly rough time that y'all are going through, but it's going to surmount itself into more of a purified love. Now, if y'all feel as if y'all are going to be separated and that is the hidden aspect into this, and that these are the habits and patterns that you are breaking. Um, you all know, more than likely will probably be staying friends with each other, helping each other to be able to heal through um, old matters of uh, things that has happened in the past. Illusions, you're really, both of y'all are opening your eyes and heart and third eye open up to these illusions 
and uh, giving inspiration upon the both of you to uh, really come to terms with all of it and kind of like separating in peace. And then it brings a more peaceful resolution and um, love dynamic for the both of you um, as y'all enter out of it. If that is, I felt like I had to bring that up, if that is what was really um, calling towards the both of you, um, that is what is going to happen. Sublimination of fear through all of this and understanding uh, the natural laws of life and um, cycles, things that y'all are possibly going through and are actually helping each other to heal through. Um, that also includes an interconnectedness when it came to y'all's past either it be with the family or those uh, or the uh, past love life um, y'all are really going to uh, be able to fly and stretch your wings out into the uh, seeing the new abundance into this and for those of you okay now i'm going to switch the aspects and communication is the key in this. A lot of people are having to really come into a purity of collaboration and, com and communication in a very um, balancing of your emotions type of way, in a very compassionate and um, speaking the truth, yes, but presenting it in a very um, honoring each other type of way, very loving way and also in a way of being able to kind of like bring out certain issues that is not working for one another kind of like both of you going back and forth as certain issues that are not really working um you both of you are being able to be creative about this into terms of being able to get it right for some of you um, you're going to be coming into collaboration with this person. It's happening behind the scenes. Both of you right now are healing and getting rid of old habits and patterns that um, were holding you back to having a more pure type of relationship with each other. You are really connecting with your uh, ancestors, spirit guides, um, and the animals and nature as to what ties are needing to be cut, how to really transcend to the next level of getting rid of illusions, having clear sight upon your um, endeavors, dreams, and um, how to be able to really see and feel the everyday blessing and playing when it comes with yourself and your unconscious power and having brave morality about your own cycles and boundaries of things that you're really wanting to stay true to. Your friends are actually helping you to really see um, certain hidden aspects that maybe were not all the way clear to you right now. It is very abundantly coming in and it's going to help you to really expand your um, free self sense of freedom into your abundance and, and, and your mental connectedness outside and outside of just isolation and love for yourself but love for yourself with a sense of connectedness with other people and having unconditional love for the way other people are and their own level of um healing and understanding how really even though you're you, you may feel you're at a higher different type of level of healing and that maybe you can help them you're you're seeing how to be able to help them without forcing too much help if you get what i'm saying and that's why i feel call it, uh, communication is going to be the strongest key in this because i feel as if there's some things you maybe feel that your your friends don't really get but you are coming into a sense of healing and being able to really see these specific areas that was meant for you to see in a way of a message um through your through the universe your spirit guides 
kind of like using them to be able to like give you kind of more of a clear perspective and understanding within yourself and your dynamics and possibly how you word things. And it's time to take action towards this new endeavor I feel that you're really wanting to go towards. It's going to require you to take to step out of your comfort zone and to surrender to what your heart is pulling you towards and to also the ebb and flow within this direction to know you are good enough and you're very close to achieving your goals. All of this is being eliminated. You have all of the full moons except for two dark moons, hidden aspects, some things that are needing to take action upon and inside realization upon certain old habits that is needing to be broken that is being uh, brought to your from forefront either from friends or um, from uh, being more self-aware, self-checking in a way. Not like with self-doubt of whether you did that right or wrong, but more of, okay, was that a, the most compassionate way I could have gone about it? Is there another compassionate way I could have gone about it? Having more communication into, well, um, you know, how, how uh, like asking more questions and others' point of view to kind of gain your own sense of understanding within yourself and what feels right with you. It's, I mean, especially with having getting, getting it right card and your dreams are gaining a more practical plan with this because of the healing um, realizations you are going through. This is possibly for those of you that are splitting up or alone. Uh, don't let your pride get in the way of all the healing you have done. Know that there is always things that will be needing to work on, but your hard work is paying off especially when it involves your healing um, and the answers you need within this uh, play, looking at your visions and dreams and really bringing more of an abundant fruition, fruit, fr fruition um, for yourself and your endeavor. Also, when it comes to more of a pure connective of love, I feel there's a lot of communication that is actually being worked on into this pure hearted communication, being able to open up when it comes to your communication, open up within others and your friends, uh, being more attentive to your communication in a certain sense. Um, but your wishes and ho hopes are coming more into your third eye aspect of being able to see more of your endeavor that is that you're really wanting to go towards it may take a little more time but you're but know that your answers for this is coming in confidence is your key luck is on your side and look at the bigger picture but also pay attention to the small details within the bigger picture don't have full focus on your bigger picture have some folk um, have some um love and compassion for yourself when it comes to your baby steps and stepping out of your comfort zone of being able to really like see things from all like perspectives and angles uh seeing things from a bunch of different like views and feel within your heart um the 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 connecting connecting togetherness of how you feel about how you really want to kind of present yourself in type of way um what habit kind of like feels off to you and showing you that it needs more time more it's more action to be taken upon it and um, for some of you, this is with someone else that you have just come into possible um, communication with 
and you're really paying attention to the dynamic of the communication now and being more friend right now, seeing how to really get things, you know, right and have that sense of pure natural flow into this, okay, especially with having the dove and the love here, um, to have its ultimate blessing or its ultimate abundance within the dynamic, okay? For some of you, this could be with work, someone you're dealing with with work, okay? So do keep that in mind, too. Um, and to know you are good enough. You are good enough to bring your emotions to the forefront if this is when it comes to work. Um, that your emotions are worthy of being spoken, but not, but to be self-aware of how you present what is, um, causing confliction within you, okay? Um, understanding the dynamic of having a presented, uh, compassionate level of communication about uh, matters that is pulling you too far down or that is like, secrets that you maybe had a little bit of fear of like bringing up and you just kind of shrug it off um and to be well to be aware of the energy of being a peacock about it being pre or kind of like communicating in a presented type way of like knowing more or kind of being in a too cocky of a sense type of way okay i feel that's one of those things here especially with unconscious power wisdom um secrets and uh mysteries it's 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 helping you to to uh have more of an attentiveness with your self-awareness and how you collab collaborate with your communication but confidence in this will be your key. Luck is on your side within this endeavor. Uh, healing, it helps a lot of healing within this because you'll be able to see from the past of how you worded or handled certain things or allowed your emotions to overcome all of it and uh, get, bringing um, illumination to this communication with the communication um, being in a kind of like hidden aspect that is um, being revealed or illuminated upon. And I feel that's the practical dream plan to your fulfillment. Empty. All right, Libras, I feel that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I am Oracle Unicorn, and if you'd like a personal reading with me, the information is below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all over social media. You never know who else that might see this that it will be able to help them with. I appreciate y'all so much, and I will see you next week. Bye.